There are three things that come to my mind when I think about cross training. One of the first reasons why I say you should cross train is because it's a great way to alleviate overuse and burnout with running. With running, especially with new runners, you get burnt out and that leads to you not ever wanting to run or walk again. So if you cross train, then that allows you to do other things but yet and still get a good cardio workout. Um, another reason why I say you should cross train is because that allows you to rest um, an injury that you may have. If you have an injury and you're resting that injury, you can still get a good workout, but you're not using those muscles that you're used to using with running or walking. The main examples of cross training are swimming, um, and I say swimming because it still allows you to get a good cardio workout, but yet and still you're using other muscles that you're not using with running or walking. Another good form of cardio exercises or cross training, I should state, is using other cardio equipment, such as a treadmill, such as a rowing machine, or such as a spinning bike. That way you're still able to get a good cardio workout, but yet still you're using other muscles for your cardio workout. The number of times that you should cross train is one to two times a week. I wouldn't advocate any more than two times a week. Especially if you're a new runner or walker, I would say you should cross train at least once a week. Just to make sure that you're resting your body. Because your main objective is to run or walk a marathon or a mini marathon, right? So you need to be walking more or running more if that is your objective. If you're doing more cross training than walking or running, that's not good for you because your main objective again is to run or walk more. Yes we advocate cross training which is always good again like I say to alleviate burnout and stress but you don't want to do more cross training than you do running or walking. Cross training should not take the place of a rest day. When, it, when the schedule states rest you should do just that and rest because that allows your body to recover and make sure you are ready for race day or ready for the next long run or short run for that matter. Your body simply needs to rest when it says rest and always listen to your body. When your body is telling you to rest and, it's, and you're, you're scheduled to go out and run or walk that day, rest, okay? You can substitute your Sunday rest for a Monday rest just as long as you do in fact rest because it's very important that your body recovers. Yes, you can cross train on a day that you run, but if you do that, make sure that it is something that is not too over exerting on your body. By that I mean you should do something that's very simple. Maybe, for example, you want to do some weights, but do some light weights. Don't do a lot. Um, maybe you want to do some yoga. That's a nice meditation exercise. So yes, you can, in fact, cross train on a day that you rest or a day that you run but I would say get your run in first and then do something light. So it's very important to remember that cross training does the body good. And when the schedule says you should cross train you should really in fact do that and cross train. Again listen to your body and know that your body needs rest but yet and still if you need to do other exercises just to make sure you get a good cardio workout you can in fact do that with cross training.